Hi, I'm Julia Franklin, and I manage the Anderson Gallery here at Drake University. I'm here to guide you through entering your works into the online 50th Annual Juried Student Exhibition. Because of COVID-19 and the fact that not all students are on campus this semester, the submission process and exhibition will take place completely online. This way, all Drake students can participate. The exhibition has over $1,000 in cash awards, and Chicago artist and educator Nikki Renee Anderson will select works to be included in the virtual exhibition. She'll also designate those awards. And please understand eligibility and submission requirements. All entrants must be Drake students, and it's free to enter. All submissions must be original work produced by the student artist within the past two years. We cannot accept work made during high school. You can submit up to four pieces in these categories, drawing and works on paper, graphic design, interactive media, painting, performance, printmaking, sculpture, installation, and video. So that your submission process goes smoothly, you need to have some things handy before you start. You need to have professional images of your artworks. If you aren't sure what that means, please make sure you have viewed our other videos on how to photograph 2D and 3D works at home with your phone and how to edit those images. Great images are needed to select outstanding works and awards and to create a virtual exhibition and digital and printed catalog. Our staff won't have time to edit things for you, so please make this a priority. You will also need to have a list of the title, size, and materials of each piece. And to keep this a blind and fair selection process, you will need to enter your Drake ID number, which we will keep confidential. Once you have your images and info ready to go, you're ready to start. To enter the exhibition, you can scan the QR code on the poster, or you can go to our Instagram page and click on the link in our bio. What's great is that you can do this entire entry process on your phone or with your computer or tablet. When you click on that link, it takes you to our link tree. You can click on Submit Works for the Juried Student Exhibition, and this will actually take you to our website so that you can enter your artwork. This takes you to our WordPress website. Here you can read more about the rules and process for entry and learn a lot more about the exhibition. Again, please be prepared and have your images and info ready to go. Once you're ready, click the Submit Works Here button to begin. This takes you to Entry Thingy, our online exhibition manager. You probably don't have a login, so go down to the bottom and click Here to Sign Up. Confirm your email address. Don't forget to keep track of your email and password should you ever need to access the site again. Next, you're going to need to complete the form with your contact information. Down at the bottom, once you're ready, click Submit to continue. And it's okay if you don't have a website. Verify your information and click Submit. You're now ready to apply, so make sure you click Apply Now. Read through the entry instructions. Check the box next to I have read and understand the entry instructions. Click Continue to the next step. Select All Media Accepted, since it's your only choice. This process normally costs money, but Drake is covering all of your entries. We are also asking that you enter your Drake student ID number. We will keep this confidential, and it's here to verify that you are a current student. You need to agree to the terms of entry and allow us to use your pieces for publicity since it will be a virtual exhibition. Click Save and continue to the next step. You are now ready to add files for your first entry, so please click on that button. This takes you to a form 
that asks for a title, a short description of your piece, the dimensions, which are the sizes, a price, if you were gonna sell it, how much would you sell it for? You can also put NFS, which stands for not for sale, and be sure to put in the year that it was created. Then you can upload a file of your image. This can be various types such as JPEG, PNG, GIF, MP3, PDF files, .mov files, and MP4s. Once you've uploaded your image, make sure it's correct and then click upload. This is what it should look like. All of your info and the photo of your work will appear like this. From here, you can add another photo of the same artwork, just another view or a detail shot by clicking add view detail if desired, but this is optional. You can also edit your entry now or do that later, but it's a lot easier to do it now if you need to. Once you're ready, please hit submit this entry. An odd stop alert from entry thingy will appear. Some of the instructions pertain to our process and other info does not. I've marked out and redacted the things that don't pertain to our exhibition. Just click OK. Another pop-up will appear that makes you select OK to make sure you understand the final steps. This summarizes your first entry. It shows it has been submitted and it allows you to enter more pieces. Select Add Another Entry, the top right, and repeat this process to add more pieces. You can enter up to four works, so max this, max this out. We do have a lot of award money available, and you can't win if you don't enter. You can also select at the top right, See Jury View, and this will show you what our juror or our judge will see. Notice you've been assigned a random participant number and that your name and Drake ID are not visible. This keeps the selection process as unbiased as possible. After every work you enter, you'll get an email from alerts at entry thingy. This thanks you for entering and acknowledges that your entry has been received. If you don't receive that email, please let me know as soon as possible. And if you have any questions or need some help, I'm here to support you. Please contact me at julia.franklin at drake.edu. The deadline for entry is midnight on Thursday, February 18th. Our jury, juror, Nikki Renee Anderson, will select works and awards over those next few days. And the Anderson Gallery will notify you by 5 p.m. on Friday, February 26th to let you know if your works have been accepted or not. My team will then work to create a virtual exhibition and digital catalog that will be unveiled on Sunday, March 7th at 2 p.m. Please plan on joining us as we live stream the virtual exhibition and award ceremony on YouTube and Facebook. Look for more details and upcoming emails. Thanks again for entering. It takes a lot of courage to do this and we appreciate it. Good luck.